Hello Strasbourg, it is Saturday, June 13th, 2020. I'm so happy that you could join us today for this devotion. Um, we are going to be continuing our exploration of Lectio Divina, which means spiritual reading. It's where you take a, a little bit of scripture and you delve into it a little bit. Uh, the steps are very easy. You, you read the scripture aloud four times, which I will be doing for you guys. Um, and then I invite you to pause the video and what you then do is meditate on the scripture. Uh, you reflect by journaling or uh, writing down your thoughts. And finally, you sit in some silence uh, as you let your lessons uh, that you hear from the Holy Spirit sink into you. And that's pretty much what Lectio Divina is. And you can do this with any scripture. Uh, we are choosing to do Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 through 3 as uh, the scripture for focus this week. And some of you are thinking, ah, again, uh, this is like the fourth day in a row where we've uh, just listened to the scripture. Well, that's kind of the point. It's to delve into a scripture uh, until we feel like God has told, all, told us all that God wants to tell us. So uh, I'm gonna read the, the verses four times. We're gonna have a moment of uh, pause and reflection uh, when you pause the video and uh, then we will rejoin together for a prayer and a song today. So thank you for, um, we're about halfway through this spiritual practice. If it's not your thing, don't worry, we get to start another one next Wednesday. So I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version and these are Paul's words to the Colossians chapter three. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. So if you've been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. So if you've been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. I hope that you had a, a chance to pause and reflect on that scripture. I don't know what um, was in your mind today. You know, we've been doing this every day and so this, maybe a different word has sparked into your mind. Um, since it's a Father's Day this weekend, uh, what's interesting is to, for me, was to hear this uh, about God and Christ and think about the relationship between the Father and the Son. Now we all know that Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit are all the same thing, but there is this um, interesting relationship happening between uh, God and the Son. You know, you hear about it in the rest of the scriptures. And uh, it made me think about, well, what, what does that say about human relationships? Um, and that's kind of where my mind was going in the midst of this meditation today. So I just, um, maybe you had something similar, but I just want to tell you that Lectio Divina is kind of a combination of both hearing the Holy Spirit speak, but also reflecting on the things that are going around in the world. So as you read scripture, you're not only hearing uh, the words that have been written so long ago, but you're um, having them interact with uh, the world around you and your own experiences of this day. Um, and that's kind of the purpose of that spiritual discipline is to help you delve deeper into the scripture 
So that it's not just a bunch of words that you read, uh, maybe to accomplish reading the Bible or whatever, but that they can be a guide for you. Um, again, the, the overarching theme for me that comes out of those three verses is uh, pay attention to God's things, not, not the world's things. So um, I want to now have a time of prayer, and uh, we're going to be praying for the world and for our community and, of course, for us. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for this beautiful morning. We thank you for the birds singing, for the sun shining, for the rain falling, for the plants growing and the flowers blooming, for all that late spring gives to us in this corner of the Shenandoah Valley. Lord, as we think of the wonders of your creation, let us not forget the wonders of the creations that are other human beings. Sometimes we get frustrated by others because they speak differently or look differently or act differently than we do. We get offended when people disagree with us and do it in a way that doesn't seem to offer respect. But Lord, you call us to love our neighbors, no matter where they are, no matter who they are, and that is a task that we find hard to do as Christians. So Lord, we confess that we too often take on the things of this world. We believe what people say about people's values and value to us. We sometimes disregard the relationships we have with others as we pursue our own gain. So Lord, we confess our inability to love others as you have loved us. And we confess that we have not been your faithful followers in every moment of our lives. And we ask for your forgiveness so that we may become your better disciples in this world. Lord, continue to be with those who struggle with illness, who are struggling with depression, and anger for those who are experiencing grief at this time. Lord, be with those who are lonely. Be with those who have lost their jobs. Be with those who are far away from family. Lord, be with all those whose jobs are essential and who put their lives at risk every day as they are interacting with people who may be infected. Finally, Lord, for the rest of us, we ask that you continue to give us peace, that you calm our hearts, take away our fears, let our anxieties fall away by the wayside. And Lord, let us dwell in your presence and be made whole. We pray all this in your name. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now I'm going to share with you a song um, by Alison Krauss. Uh, actually, it's um, called In the Palm of Your Hand. She performed that back in 1995 on her album, but uh, I love this song. It reminds me, um, again, of what the gospel message is about and how we're supposed to live as Christians. So I, I hope you enjoy the song today. It's called In the Palm of Your Hand. could have the world and all it owns, a thousand kingdoms, a thousand thrones, if all the earth were mine to own, with wealth my only gold, I'd spend my gold on selfish things without the love that your life 
springs Just a little bit more was all I need Till life was torn from me I'd rather be in the palm of your hands Though rich or poor I may be Faith can see right through the circumstance Sees the forest in spite of the trees Your grace provides for me If I should walk the streets No place to sleep No faith in promises you'd keep I'd have no way to buy my bread with a Bible for my bed. But if I trust the one who died for me, who shed his blood to set me free, if I live my life to trust in you, your grace will see me through. I'd rather be in the palm of your hand, though rich or poor I may be. Faith can see right through the circumstance, sees the forest in spite of the trees. Your grace provides for me. If I could have the world, if I could have the world, if I could have the world and all it owns. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you'll join us for our worship service tomorrow. Um, it will be posted up online um, early in the morning. Um, you can join there, and then around 10 o'clock in the morning, we have a time of prayer time as uh, people who zoom in on, and we spend about 15, 20 minutes just going over our prayers and concerns. And uh, if you need anything in particular, just you can zoom in, or uh, you can just text me or give me a call or send an email if you need some special prayers. So um, I hope all is going well, and God bless you, and have a wonderful day.